Good evening, Americans. This is your favorite alien speaking on Tuesday, June 4th. And Bubba, he's getting ready for announcing that he's running for 2020 president here. Don't you like his new look? He decided he needed to dolled up and get himself ready here. Right, Bub? Yoo-hoo, Bub. Well, he's busy looking for his Blue Jay. Uh, anyway, I wanted to do a video today and uh, call it Decision Time. It's a lot of decision time for a lot of people. So, here it goes. Decision time. Well, for you dum-dums... <coughs> <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry, Democrats, uh, it's decision time. You got 55 of you that say, we are going to impeach President Trump. Well, have you really thought about that, you 55 dum-dums that say that? That includes Maxine Waters and AOC, of course, Omar have you heard what Mrs. Pelosi is saying? And Mrs. Pelosi's in the Kobarashi Maru. So look that up, dum dums, and see where you put your House Speaker at. And Republicans, you got a decision too. You're supposed to be the party of free trade, right? And here's your president using tariffs as a political weapon. What kind of deal is that? That's like you Democrats using impeachment as a political weapon. So, you Republicans, you got a problem. Uh, that goes down to your core values. What are you going to do about that? And how about you independents? What are you going to do about that? Who are you going to vote for? You look at those 21 dum-dums? None of them qualifies as president, right? And after, you know, two bad presidents in a row, Obama, who was a constitutional guy, African-American, who wanted to apologize for everything and tell the United States was bad, 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 bad. And President Trump, who is the other way, America first. And I'm going to be a bully. We're going to bully everybody into submission here. You want that? But don't forget about your previous presidents. G.W. Bush, who, well, took his expert's advice, but he wanted to get at Iraq at all costs. And he got 9-11 instead. But he still went after Iraq with 9-11. And look what he had. A mess in Iraq and Afghanistan is still... What, almost uh, 10 years after he left? We still got that? Ain't that something? Well, what can I say? Bad, huh? So what are we going to do, Americans? Don't forget about Clinton. He wanted to rule from the center. And he left to place a big mess. Uh, so the presidency... Well, it's not even what it was. A lot of people in the world just laugh at them. But look, look at the people in uh, Great Britain protesting against a U.S. president. Isn't that something? It almost reminds me of uh, when uh, Vice President Tricky Dicky went to Venezuela back in the 1950s and they threw stuff at him and he came out of there bloody. Surprised President Trump didn't come out of this bloody with what he's doing in, over there in the U.K., huh? Well, this is an alien just saying, this stuff is starting to hit the fan here. And you don't have much time. you got 18 months to go. So a new president is sworn in on January 20th, 2021. Or 20, 2021, yeah. And look at that. Here it is, June. You got, what, 11 months till your uh, party conventions around there. 11 and 12 months. And you dum-dums, <coughs> sorry, Democrats, and grand old party, although right now I say gutless old people, because you got no backbone, 
I mean, the, when are you going to stand up to President Trump and says, those tariffs on Mexico, I know we got a big problem, but that's not our ideal as a party. It's not our ideal as a government. You, somebody's got to sit down and tell them, hey, we got ourselves into this mess, and bullying is not going to get ourselves out of this mess. And find a way to get out of this mess. There's a ways to get out of it. I've explained it a lot of times. But it's up to you guys. This is your alien saying, Americans, when are you going to hit the button and tell these GOPs and dum-dums, hey guys, we've had enough of you. It's time to get something going here. What do you say? Thanks.